This is geometry chapter 4-6 and we're doing congruence and right triangles and specifically we're going to be talking about the hypotenuse leg theorem. And first we need to get our terminology down uh, to describe parts of a right triangle. You have a right angle in a right triangle and the side opposite that right angle falling across from that right angle is the hypotenuse. The two sides of the triangle that are part of the right angle. These are called legs. And we're not saying that they're congruent like we called them legs when, the, that when we were talking about an isosceles triangle. In this case, we're just referring that a leg is one side of a right angle. And they could be congruent or they could not be congruent. All right, so legs, the hypotenuse is across from the right angle. Hypotenuse is always the longest side on a right triangle. Now let's keep going here. Okay, so here's our theorem. If the hypotenuse and a leg of one right triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts, a hypotenuse and a leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So if we have a right angle here, right angle here, and notice we have one tick mark here and a matching tick mark for the hypotenuse for each triangle, so those are congruent. And then if you have a leg that's congruent, two marks, and another one with two marks, then those two triangles are congruent. So let's see if this passes the test of using the hypotenuse leg theorem for determining if these two triangles are congruent. Um, is QRS congruent to TWV? Well, I've got what looks like a leg congruent, what looks like a hypotenuse, and over here congruent. But you don't know if those, th these we do not know if those are right angles or not. So since we don't know that, we can't make the conclusion that those two triangles are congruent. Okay, so now we're going to apply the HL theorem. So we have two triangles that are congruent by the HL theorem. We have an hypotenuse is congruent to this hypotenuse. We have two right angles. And importantly, we have a shared side here. So therefore, this leg is congruent for that triangle is congruent to the leg for this triangle. So HL theorem works, which means we can say that this side is congruent to that side. So let's apply it. So I wrote this out ahead of time just to make it neat. So I said that this expression for this leg is equal to the length for this leg. And then what did I do here? I distributed the 7. And then I combined like terms. Then I added the 42x to both sides, combined those like terms, subtracted the 40, and then I divided both sides by, th by 34. So I come up with x is negative 1. And a negative value, is that still valid? Well, if you put, in, if you put that negative 1 in here n next to the 8, you're going to get negative 1 times negative 8 is a positive 8 in combination with that 40. So this side is going to be 48 units long. Well, that's a positive answer. So therefore, we're fine. It's OK if the variable is negative, but in geometry, we have to have positive lengths. OK. I like this example in our textbook. It says, if one of the 10 flaps was damaged in a storm, can you use the other flap as a pattern to replace it? And you've got two right triangles here. So what they're really asking here is, are the two triangles congruent? Well, if you've got a straight line here and a right angle, then that has to be a right angle. And we got a shared side up the middle here. So therefore, looks like HL to me. We have a hypotenuse and a leg, hypotenuse and a leg. I wrote out the proof for this. So we have AB is congruent to CB. That's given. We have a perpendicular line here. So I wrote that they're perpendicular. And I jumped in this proof to say that, well, if these two lines are perpendicular, then this has to be a right angle. And likewise, that has to be a right angle. I'll pencil that in there. So now, oh, and you have BD, the reflexive property that I said just a moment ago. And then you pull it all together. You have a hypotenuse and a leg. Oops, I didn't write the congruent marks. 
and the hypotenuse and a leg, so this triangle has to be congruent to that triangle, which means you can use one of these flaps as a pattern to, to repair the other one. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video.